Well, I'm here again. And uh, let me just take these off because they put in a glare from my TV. Um, had an issue this week. Threw the entire week off. I wasn't prepared for the heat. Now, I'm down here in Texas, and I should know better. But I didn't know better. The situation, I got out there, and well, here's what happened. I was going down to Brownwood, and I went down there in order to pick up a load, going to Waco, about 120 miles. Easy peasy. Get down there, load up, throw the tarp on, throw the straps on, go to Waco, meet them at 6 o'clock, by 6 o'clock, so they could pick up the load and take off, and I could just go back home. Easy peasy. Brownwood's about 125, 135 miles away from Gran, uh, Granbury, which is what I thought I was doing. Just get the load and go. Well, I got down there, got loaded. Was loaded and had plenty of time. Had plenty of time. About 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. Got down there, they were there, and they loaded the truck, had the stuff. But the first thing that happens, that I, instead of loading by the factory where they did all the stuff, I went to a field that was about a half mile around, down from the plant, and no big deal, no big deal. And uh, I got out there to the field, and all of a sudden, it was cloudy all day, all the way up to the time I pulled into that field. Clouds went away almost instantly. I mean, instantly. I didn't even see it. The sun came out, glaring down. All of a sudden, the temperature shot up fast. It went from like 80-something to 98. And I wasn't serious. And then, you know, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Started handling everything. Started throwing everything on there. Um, truck didn't have AC because Fran leaked out. And that should have been a first sign. I mean, I had it in my APU, but I didn't have it in, uh, in the truck itself. But I got down there. He, he lo the forklift driver loaded the truck. Good company, good people. Loaded the truck, took off. Never saw him again after that. I started throwing the tarps on and everything to the plant, and I started feeling just a little bit woozy. I knew I was hot. I knew I was in trouble on the situation, but I, I th threw it all on. I threw the traps on, and I started throwing the straps over the load and everything. And after about the third or fourth strap, I collapsed. Don't know how long I was out. I was there on the ground by my truck, 98 degrees, and I just collapsed. I had it in the situation. I was down there. When I came to, uh, I knew exactly what happened. I suffered a heat stroke. And heat strokes are no concern. I don't know if it was a half hour or an hour after I fell over. I was in the sun constantly. There was no one there at the location to help me out. I was by myself. I got into the truck, lay down in the bunk, turned on the APU, you know, to get the AC going. Which I guess it was the only thing that saved my life. I was in serious hurt. I didn't end up leaving. When I got done, it rested up a little bit. I went back outside, tried to stand to, just to do the straps. I could not get the straps done without sitting down. I was that weak. All my energy was gone. I didn't have anything. Didn't have any water in the truck. Did not have any Gatorade in the truck, which really would have saved my ass if I had. I had Lipton iced tea to brisk with fucking lemon. And it was hot. And I think overall that's what killed me. Now, during this time trying to do the straps, I puked up every single thing I ate that day and some things that I ate the day before. Lots of, lots, all the tea came up, whatever water I drank, whatever coffee I drank, everything came up. I puked five, six times. But I got managed, even while sitting down, I was a pathetic sight. 
sitting on an egg crate, sitting down in front of the straps, trying to roll the straps up and get everything done one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. I had 12 straps I had to load up. I was hurting, folks. I was really hurting. But I finally got out of there about 6 o'clock. Took off, went to Waco, missed my appointment. Those people t um, left, left me there. I sat overnight and right there in the morning. And uh, turns out after they took off, they went back down to Houston. And I had to continue the load down to Houston to get unloaded. Summer is coming up, folks. If you're a flat better like me, you better be able to withstand the heat. Because it will kill you. I, got, I feel I got very, very lucky. A little upset over what in the hell happened. Um, but proper planning prevents piss poor performance. If I had some water, if I had some Gatorade before I got there, I would have been better suited to handle that heat. I'm not saying nothing bad against the company. I'm not saying nothing bad against the broker, even though he turned into a dick afterwards. But this is for all the truckers out there. When you are dealing with the heat, prepare yourself. Be hydrated. Have Gatorade. Have water on site. Make sure your truck's AC works. Your life is worth the time and effort to make sure everything is done. And believe it or not, it's not even hot down here. At 98 degrees, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's going to get to 110, 120 degrees this year. Which really is making me wonder whether or not I want to drive a flatbed. So, the message, the moral of this little story, don't get caught out in the heat. Don't, if, if you even think you're the slightest bit weak because you're getting overheated and everything, get inside your truck, get inside some air conditioning, and if you can't do it, go someplace where you can. This heat that's coming up will kill you. It almost killed me. That's my message for today. Thank you all for listening.